Let me tell you how valuable recording microphones are to me. A while ago, I went on live streaming platforms. The first one that I was on was Periscope. You may have remembered it. It's done already. It's long gone, but that's okay. We've made friends elsewhere. Well, since then, and friends that I've had on Periscope, they got me started on these iRig condenser mics. Now, a friend uh, over in the mainland sent a couple over to me. This is one of them that I have. It is condenser mic. This is the microphone I used for recording, sound clips, backtracking, YouTube videos, IG, Facebook Lives, Bro Tip Tuesdays, Zoom lessons. But right before my interview on the news, this broke. And if you go back and watch that video that I was interviewed on the news, you can hear a lot of popping and cracking. It's because I was using my headset and the microphone was here rubbing on it because I... I've just used too much of my hands and talk with too much of my body language. But so I really, really missed this and it was really, really dear to me. Now, before I did break the cord that was going from this to my phone, which is pretty crazy because you can record right from your phone and using this mic as the audio. But then I upgraded to use GarageBand straight to my computer. Now, since then, my computer and I saw other things of it going to like some phantom power things like interfaces that would have been even better for me to use different inputs with vocals and with ukulele and all of the above. But I was just so happy with this and contempt with it. So once it broke, I had to get right on Amazon and order me a new one. And I did. And this is the video that we are checking out and how good it really is, or if I should make that jump and upgrade over to the interface audio system. So let's go ahead and get the box. Right now in this video, in the last two minutes, you are recording on my iPhone with just the audio from the phone. I will then do a comparison on that mic uh, with an ukulele, and we will see what audio is better for you. So kind of a bummer thing is I had this in the box waiting to go but because I wasn't feeling well over the last week, I wasn't able to open it up and use it. Now I could have opened it up, used it, and had a lot of other you know, backtracks that I could have recorded with and all of the above, but I wanted to do an unboxing for you to see me opening it up, to see my reaction, to get it on this vlog, and see how well I like it, and if it's meant for me, or maybe not even meant for you. Along with this order, I did order a few more ukulele hangers because I have a project in an upcoming video of what I'm gonna do with this back wall. Not this wall, but that wall there behind you. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. I also bought lights for the back wall, clips to mount those lights. But this is the guy I am waiting for. We're gonna open it up and give it a shot. Now I'm not the kind of guy that just buys things on a whim. I do do a little bit of research. What I mean by research is like I go on YouTube, kind of go what's the best, what am I looking for, or I'll go on Amazon, whatever pops up, a YouTube video, give me like a kind of a consumer report and what you, what certain people think of it. So this is the one I thought maybe fit my budget and also fit my style of recording. So it's a, so it's a fee fine. I think it's called fee fine. Uh, understand your voice better. So hopefully you can understand my voice better. A studio quality articulation and intelligibility. So it's monitoring volume and mute, which is all I had on top of the other ones as well. Oh no, it is. It is taped, hold on. What a knife! Got my knife. With all the unboxings I do with ukuleles given or ukuleles bought and tried and unboxings that I do, I don't know why I just don't have one of these right there in my drawers. So mental note, Get a box cutter, put it in the drawer. Now that we got the tape cut, let's go ahead and open the box. User guide. Not, not saying yet that I might not need it, but I'll wait. Oh, it's a pretty one. Definitely bigger than the one I had originally. Here's the original one I had. Here's the one that's a little bit bigger. Uh, it already comes with the mic stand, which is awesome because I do use this mic right here uh, for the boom operation and all the articulations I can with the arms. That helps for a better um, angle for me to be able to play and record during our, our live lessons.
What I do really like about this one and the connection input from the microphone to the computer, it comes with a more heavy duty USB cord. The one that I had with that iRig was USB to a USB 2.0. So it's kind of finicky, it was kind of hard and not, but this one is should be a lot better. Here's the accessories box. Here's the cable, which already um, seems better quality than what I have. We'll use these two right here. And I guess a wind pop screen as well that just snaps right over the microphone like that. But uh, I think we gotta go ahead and plug this into the computer, set up the other camera and see what it sounds like. So now we are on the audio here on the Fifine uh, microphone, and I think it sounds great. I am open on GarageBand as I usually do my recordings on. Audio, I think, sounds good. On its way back, I think it sounds very clear and crisp. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the audio, how it is coming through. Um, I have no EQ at all, whatever, on my voice. This is my natural sounding voice. Um, I always said I had a face for radio, <laughs> but, um, this sounds great and I'm liking it, uh, a lot, really, really, really a lot. And, um, I did, however, plug into this monitored, uh, headphone jack here and I didn't like the way it was giving me, um, the sound back. I think the garage band interface helps with the leveling of like the highs, lows, and meads. This was just straight high, very um raw sounding video um uh, raw sounding audio excuse me though i have nothing here on my eqs it's all just zeroed out um it still sounds a lot better coming from this interface so i'm gonna go ahead and um grab an ukulele give it a couple strums and see how it sounds on top of this so stand by <laughs> Well, I do like this microphone. I think it's going to be a very big improvement uh, for the production studio. Um, please let me know what you think uh, in the comments below of what you think of this microphone and how it sounds. Also, what you think of this video by strumming the like button and subscribing to this channel. Uh, go ahead and check out the rest of the channel that you might find more tips, reviews, tricks, bro tip Tuesdays, more vlogs, uh, unboxing and ukulele reviews. Uh, to see also what's going on in the ukulele community and what's going on here at ukulele project hawaii thank you guys so much for watching this video we'll see you all next time aloha mahalo and god bless mm -hmm.